Welcome to Demo, the app that lets you write a song anywhere, no matter when inspiration hits. It's tailor-made by musicians to complement how people actually use their phones to write songs. This will be a detailed guide of creating a song in the app. Part 1, Getting Started. On the home screen, after you've completed onboarding, you'll see any songs you've created with a few options, but we'll get into that later. Let's go ahead and create a new song by tapping the red plus in the bottom right. By default, it's named My Demo, but you can edit this at any point by tapping the red pencil. Demo breaks up songwriting into three fundamental sections which we believe to be the foundation of songwriting. Chords, where you can build playable chord progressions. Lyrics and structure, where you can loop those chord progressions and write your lyrics. And audio recording, where, well, you can record audio. While we encourage you to start in chords, we know that's not always how ideas hit. So you also have the option to jump right into writing lyrics or tracking an audio idea. More on that later. Part 2. Chords. Okay, let's get into chords. This is fundamentally the core of the app and what pushes it beyond a simple replacement for notes and voice memos. It's also the most technologically advanced section of demo, but don't let that overwhelm you. A lot of that's under the hood, so to speak, keeping the experience as simple and intuitive as possible, putting the chords and progressions you need only taps away. All right, let's create a chord progression. First, pick a label. Will this be your verse, chorus, bridge, or something else entirely? This can be changed at any point, so don't overthink it. If you're unsure, just pick main. If you already have an idea of the key or tempo you'd like, you can set that now. More on that later. But it's best to just start with some chords. You can browse our chord presets of industry standards if you're looking for a little inspiration. They're organized by genre, but they're also tagged by song section. So if you're looking for a chorus idea or a bridge, here's an easy jumping off point. Side note, don't let the idea of presets make you feel less creative. There's a reason 6415 is a progression used by everyone from Adele to Toto to the Cranberries. It's a fantastic backbone for a melody. Also, any preset can be edited and customized to match exactly what you have in mind. Or, you can create something from scratch with our custom chord builder. The app will show you the standard chords of your key by default, but we've also bundled other go-to chord shapes, like seven chords for a more moody R&B or dream pop song. And if you find a particular chord you like, tap the heart to add it to my chords. You can also create a completely custom chord by tapping an empty slot in My Chords, where you can choose from over 30 different shapes for each chord. For this progression, we'll keep things more straightforward with standard chords. When you select a chord, it will automatically fill in your whole phrase, so you aren't having to reselect the same chord over and over. You only have to tell the app when you'd like it to change. Each line here indicates a measure change. You can see that by default, each chord slot represents a half note. However, if you'd like faster chord changes, you can zoom in to change on the quarter, eighth, or sixteenth note. You also can, of course, undo, redo any changes, clear all the chords to start over, add a moment of silence, add or remove phrases, and you can hold and drag to rearrange lines of chords. You'll notice this keyboard when you select a chord. This shows you the notes in your chord, which typically includes two octaves. If you'd like to shift the voicing up or down on any chord, you can just tap the plus or minus. This will retain all the same notes within your chord, but shift the root note. This is a fun tool to get lower or higher chords, or you can keep one root note while changing the chord. Once you have a chord progression, either custom or preset, you can continue to customize. First, you can change the key at any point. The chords will maintain their position, but shift up or down in pitch until you find a key that best suits your vocal or melody idea. Next, you can change the tempo. This number here signifies the beats per minute. You can speed it up or slow it down by dragging the slider, then fine tuning with the plus and minus. Or you can simply tap the tap button for the beat you have in your mind. By default, progressions will be in a 4-4 time signature, however you can change this to 3-4 or fully customize if you have a more advanced idea. If you're unsure here, just start with 4-4 or 3-4 and feel it out. You can then change the instrument sounds to match the idea you have in mind. This is my personal favorite lineup of instruments. Then you can pick your playback rhythm to give your song some context. The app will automatically remap your chords accordingly. Choose from over 40 options to match the cadence of your idea. 
turn instruments on and off as needed, and you can also use the remix feature to mix and match instrument rhythms for more customization. You can of course create as many progressions as you need, delete or duplicate. Then if you open up settings, you have a few more options. These top three options let you override the app's preset defaults. With these toggles here, you can create a key or tempo change in your song. It allows you to set each at the progression level so each chord progression can have its own key or tempo. This toggle here allows demo playback to continue even if you push the app to the background, in case you need to hop over to another app but want your demo audio to continue playing. And lastly, you can change the tone of your click track if needed. Speaking of, you'll see this little icon throughout the app, which is how you turn the click track on or off. Part 3. Lyrics and Structure You can get to lyrics and structure either from this little icon on the chords view or from the song overview. Like I said in the beginning, this app is designed to build off itself as each section works with the next. Not only is lyrics and structure where you can write your lyrics, but it's also where you build your song by looping the progressions you just created. However, if you just want to start writing and create or pick a chord progression later, you can always choose none. Everyone's writing process is different, but we generally recommend taking it on section by section and going back into chords as you need more progressions. It's why we designed these back and forth icons between chords and lyrics and structure but let's go ahead and build out the song. Similar to chords, you can also delete and duplicate. You also have the option to hold and drag any song section to reorder as needed. Then within song sections, you can adjust the number of loops anytime as needed, or you can let it loop indefinitely while dreaming up your melody ideas. When you're writing your lyrics and feel stuck, we've also got a little rhyme tool here for inspiration. Now that you've got your song written and built, you're ready to record. Part 4. Recording We try to keep our audio recorder both simple and flexible. As you can see, it overlaps your lyrics so you can read while you sing. It will also follow along with your lyrics so you aren't getting lost. These lines here indicate song sections and allow you to jump quickly from one section to the next. The count in will give you a full measure of click track before starting your song, and the click track will keep that click playing during your recording. You can just start recording or you can import if you've got some other audio you'd like to bring in from your files app. Once you have your audio, you have some more options. You can trim, drag, cut, delete, duplicate, or import into any track. Then each song has up to eight tracks so you can lay your harmony, instrument, or other audio ideas as needed. Confirm, and now you've got yourself a song. Part five, mixing. Once you've got your song built and recorded, maybe you want to adjust some levels so the right parts are getting the attention they deserve. Tap the mixing icon next to the play button for a simplified mixer. From here, you can mute, solo, or adjust the volume of any instrument or audio track. We've also added the option for reverb across the board. Within audio tracks, compression is turned on by default to stabilize the volume in your recordings, but this can be turned off by simply tapping. Once you've got your levels where you need, you're ready to export. Part 6. Export There are three main options in export. Mix Song allows you to export a total mix of your song as it sounds in the app. The printable chord sheet generates a text file that includes the chords for each section as well as all of the lyrics for the song so you can share with a band or a co-writer or review yourself for live performances. MIDI and Audio Tracks allows you to export each track separately, including MIDI of each instrument track and separate WAV files for each audio track. You can then import this into your preferred DAW or DAW to continue producing your song idea into something bigger. Part 7. iCloud Co-Write and Folders To come back to the home screen, you've got a few more options here. You of course have a few organizational options for views, but more importantly, you can sync your songs to the iCloud, so you can access your work across devices or reinstall the app without losing your songs. This turns on the sync. This keeps sync turned on by default. And this allows you to sync or unsync specific songs. If you have the iCloud turned on, you also have the option to collaborate on a song with anyone you invite with CoWrite. You can either directly invite them or generate a link to copy and paste. Once they accept their invite, all collaborators can work from one centralized project no matter where they are. Chords, lyrics, and recordings automatically sync across devices. Then, for additional organization, you have the option to create folders. Simply tap the folder icon and choose your name. 
From there, you can drag and drop songs or tap the settings icon on your folder or songs for more ways to move from folder to folder. Okay. That's the full tour of Demo. We hope this was helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions or features you'd like us to cover in more detail. And so sincerely, thank you so much for trying and supporting this app. We're a very small team of music lovers and songwriters, so it means a whole lot to us to see people creating with Demo. Happy writing. Okay.